Hi guys, Lucas here and I'm going to go over these uh, procedurally generated sound waves that I created in Substance Designer 5 and we use them in our game. So that's how it looks inside of the Substance Designer. And now I'm going to show you how it looks inside of the Unreal Game Engine. So as you can see, this is how the waves look inside of the Unreal Game Engine. And uh, now I'm going to go over how I created them from scratch. So what I did, I uh, I assume that you have some kind of a knowledge of Substance Designer 5 because I'm just going to go over it really briefly and not too much into detail. So uh, as I started, I wanted to create myself a um, waves, as you can see this kind of a sound waves shape. And what I did, I started by pulling a grunge map, stripes, and alveolus node. And if you are wonder how I got these nodes, you can find them inside of this generator tab. So I just was experimenting uh, with the different generators, and I figured out that these ones were giving me the shape that I really wanted. Next, I use uh, uh, nodes. When I press space, as you can see, there is like different nodes you can use inside of Substance Designer 5. So I used uh, Levels node on this grunge map to get this kind of a shape. Uh, I use a warp node, two warp nodes, one which I warped to get all the, these stripes with alvels and as you can see it broke these stripes a little bit and I warped together this grunge map with the stripes and this what I got as a result. Next I blended these two, these two nodes together and I got this blend which already looked like stripes that I wanted and then I used a bevel node on top of these levels which gave me this kind of a bevel shapes which I will use in here with this blend node to broke up these stripes even more so it looks more natural. Next I created some uh, more bevel node, one more bevel node as you can see here I bevel these stripes and uh, I created this uh, high pass grayscale and I levels levels from this high pass grayscale to get a normal map. As you can see there is a few different normal maps and after I blended them together I got the resulting normal map that I was happy with which is here I got these waves which uh, I'm gonna use later. And I also uh, make few more outputs for my height map and uh, different uh, height maps which are uh, just black and white and uh, gray. And uh, next I created myself a bass sound. Again I started with some two noises which I just picked randomly. Uh, blended them together and use the levels note to just kind of uh, lighten them up. After I had this shape I was happy with which was kind of representing a sand. I created myself a roughness. I started with some kind of a third map. Uh, I histogram it as you can see this is representing my white stones inside of the, the sand as you can see them here. Uh, I inverted them to match these uh, levels, uh, blended these two nodes together, warped it a little bit to get a little bit smaller stones and uh, then I started to work on a color. As you can see here I use a, a blur node on top of this to blur it out and then I warp it together with uh, this shape so this is what I'm getting here after I warp it together. Uh, then I created myself some gradients to get uh, different uh, shades of uh, gray uh, and brown as you can see here and then I have a white gradient for the white stones. I blended this together with this alpha so whatever is black it's going to be white as you can see here and then I blended them together again to smooth it up a little bit because I wanted to have some control over my colors. As you can see here, color control. I uh, created myself color to mask, so I mask the different shades of uh, brown and I created different brown colors here that I can control. So this one is the main color, so uh, 
as you can see uh, this color is as output so if I go in here I see my output parameters that I can change easily inside of Unreal or in here I go to the color and if I pick let's say red or orange as you can see my my sand is getting orange color so you can just change the color as you wish and get a uh, different different sand colors so I'm just gonna put it back as it was before and then I created myself a normal map from this shape at the beginning as you can see so it's not just flat normal but it has some kind of a structure to it and I uh, push it out as outputs next I wanted to blend my waves with my sand so as you can see I have my sand in here my uh, waves in here and I blend the normal map together which gives me my waves and I use my base color of my sand as the base color of the sand the waves uh, next because I wanted these small white spots to be shiny as you can see here they shine a little bit what I did I created myself roughness and I again used the roughness that I uh, created myself inside of a sand so whatever is white is rough and black is not so as you can see these spots are going to be shiny and then I use levels on the same map on this map which is here and levels uh, for the metallic so whatever is black is not metallic and I wanted these white spots to be a little bit metallic so they give you like this kind of silvery silvery uh, co I would say material so it's nice and shiny and looks a little bit like a silver and that would be basically it then I created myself a height map in here so you can use it if you need a height map of the waves um, and what I did as well is that uh, I wanted to have a control over how high are the waves so I created myself again I started from a few grunge maps and noises and I got some kind of a normal map that I liked that represented a, a, a flat a sand and I blended with this normal map but I created myself a controls over it so if I go in here to the ex exposed uh, parameters and I have this waves no waves parameter and I can change this to be one which is no waves as you can see it's just a flat sand with kind of a, a different shape on it and then I can start blending it together and as you can see the waves start appearing until you have the full waves so I think that would be the overview of the sand material and next what I did was I uploaded this material into Substance Share uh, and it got approved so you can download it from Substance Share it's now public in here and that's how it looks inside of the website so thank you for your attention and have a good night or good day bye